Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And tonight, today, whenever you see this, I am doing the Elemental Rune reading for the week of September 15th through the 21st for 2024. And I read for the elements instead of the zodiac and there's a video down below you can check out if you're interested as to why. And if you are curious about your zodiac sign and what your birth charts are there's a link in the description for a um, natal interpretation chart which gives you your basic 12 houses and all the goodies along with it um, and then 10 to 20 pages based off of what's in your chart this for a baseline description it also gives you your elemental alignment your generational information um, like what generation you're in and what that means and a whole bunch of other goodies so you can check that out if you're interested um, and then there's some other fun rune related stuff down there and I do read in the order of the zodiac so we start off with our fire family of Aries Leo and Sagittarius so we'll get them pulled up here and into the reading we go <laughs> so fire your first rune is Uraz and this is a dark green. This is part of the Elder Futh arc, so there's not a lot of extras with the names. Um, dark green, and your tarot card is the High Priestess. Astrology is Taurus. So this could indicate some very grounding feminine energy coming up this first in this week. Uh, creative power, wisdom, knowledge, standing for good fortune, opportunity, and uh, fire, it looks like. It might be a little bit of a spicy week for you because there's a little bit of uh, sexual energy build up with this particular rune. But I'm also hearing when we work with the high priestess energy we tap into the voice of the divine feminine and when you're talking that plus the Taurus energy which is a little bit more grounded a little bit more hearth and home type focus you're looking at uh, building it's like creative power and wisdom is what it says but this could be being actually procreative <laughs> so if this if this is in the plans, this is a good time to look at maybe starting that family if this is something that you've been discussing, or it could be starting that new creative project. There's a lot of positive energy coming forward with this, and it's also saying that it's going to be divinely inspired to a certain extent. You can do what you need to with that energy, but definitely the divine feminine is going to be um, influencing it. You also have the Gibo rune which is blessings and generosity color of deep blue tarot association is the lovers going with the amorous aspect of uh, Uraz the problem is here your astrology is Pisces so this is a water rune working with <laughs> energy that is not strictly yours uh, it is a sign of gifts and generosity giving people coming together relationships etc so when we put these two together what I'm hearing is this upcoming week is going to be a very positive week, very much tapping into that divine feminine, but it's also really wanting to remind you that the home is your foundation this week, Fire. This is also saying that with your creative uh, energy, it's going to be a give and take type thing. So this could be working together with your spouse on a project. It could be working together in a group at work on a project. And it's also saying you're going to have a little bit of a emotional balancing energy coming in because the water with Pisces it's saying that there is this uh, energy that's fires a little bit can be a little hostile sometimes or a little uh, aggressive is a better word but with water coming in as your balancer it's going to give you other things to think about because they're going to temper the heat just a little bit not saying that it's bad and that's not where we're going here but it's definitely saying there's a lot of positivity available but maybe you can warm up the water they can bring a little bit more control into the situation so you're getting this really nice balance and you have Taurus with the high priestess coming in saying it's time to help uh, ground and stabilize this foundation so fire <laughs> it looks like it's gonna be a little bit of an interesting week it's not saying bad it's gonna say stable but it's because you have the balance of opposites. You being fire uh, and Gibo having very strong water energy. But both of those uh, runes also talk about some very 
uh, intimate energy as well. So it could be a fun week for our fire family out there. Let's hop over to doo -doo 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 -doo, Earth with Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So if you are Earth or you are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this one is yours. We are looking at Iwas, which is the horse rune. Color of white, tarot association is also the lovers. Astrology is Gemini. There's definitely some contrarian energy coming in this week. Uh, travel and change, new jobs, new homes, spiritual journeys, and movement. What I'm hearing, Earth, is right off the right out of the gates. You are not big into, especially air travel. Um, I don't know why they're bringing this up, but the Gemini is saying there's going to be this pull of get out of your comfort zone, get out of your station. Um, and they're saying it's going to be something that's a little bit more of a flight of fancy that's tying into that Gemini energy. But you have to be careful with Gemini. I'm not a big astrology person, but I do know this because I know a lot of Geminis. Um, Gemini is the twins. So what you get out of a Gemini is what you offer to a Gemini. If you are a nice person, you're generous, you're kind, you're honest, you're going to get that in return. If you ever slight a Gemini, well, you're going to get the same thing because they've got very two very distinctive faces <laughs> um, being Gemini. But with what's coming up here is you have a lot of potential. And with the lovers plus Gemini, this could definitely mean that there's some union of opposites going on. There could be a little bit of uh, volatility, but it's not negative. It's saying that this is coming in as changes, new jobs, new promotions, new home. Uh, it could be some kind of new relationship if you're single in Earth. So be open to some new experiences as you go through this week because it's definitely going to pull you out of your comfort zone is what I'm hearing. That's that movement aspect of EOAs. Your second rune, interestingly enough, you got the blank rune, which is the weird rune or word rune, and it's fate. Uh, it signifies mystery, fate of the unknown, having trust and faith. So, <laughs> Earth, this is going to be an, a very weird week for you. Not bad, just weird. You have this movement. You have this pull to get out of your comfort zone. But you don't get to know the outcome of this week. You don't get to see what's coming. They're saying, and live in the mystery. Love in the mystery. Enjoy the unknown, which is not something that Earth likes to do. They like to plan. They like to think. They like to focus. I mean, <laughs> you have Virgo tied in there. So everything needs to be in its place. But this week, Earth, that is not how it's going to roll. Uh, the universe is playing some um, peekaboo ICU type stuff because it's definitely going to be an interesting week. They're saying it's not going to be things you can plan all week. Earth, that is the one thing that I am hearing very loudly. You can plan all week. Don't think those plans are going to play out. Just, <laughs> it's not looking like that at all. But it's also saying that the mystery, the unknown, is where the fun is in this upcoming week. So really tap into that. Get up in the morning, go to work, and just see what happens. Enjoy, look for the joy in all the mystery. So let's hop over to, where are we at? Air. There we are. And air is... Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's see if our contrarian energy continues on. Uh, so air, yours is Manaz is your first rune, which is the man rune. Color of deep red, tarot association is magician, and astrology is Jupiter. So you're getting a little bit of interesting energy going on here. Uh, humankind, wisdom held in the body, mind and body as one, knowledge, memory, interdependence of the masculine and feminine within. So Air, this is definitely a call to find balance, to tap into the foundational tools that you have learned on this journey. The magician is someone who has the base level tools. They can function in most situations. Um, in the metaphysical world, you have earned your wand, your athame or sword, your chalice and your pentacle. And now you're learning how to use them in everyday life. And the magic life and that's what I'm hearing with this one with Manaz is this is about bringing spiritual knowledge into the physical to use in everyday life um, but Jupiter's coming in saying 
there's a little bit of travel energy here, but it's also a little bit of fun energy, saying you don't have to be too serious. Have fun as you're going through this week using the tools, the spiritual tools specifically, that you have earned and learned as you go through and see what kind of interesting fun you can have. Your second rune though, sorry air, is the Hagalaz rune. Where this is the hail rune. Color of light blue, tarot association is the world. But this astrology is you. So the contrarian energy is basically earth and fire, not for our air family. Uh, signifies unexpected setbacks or problems, attempts to let things flow, possible disruptive natural events. Air. Sorry, fam. <laughs> you have the tools with Manaz and the t um, magician to deal with things that come up this week. Jupiter's coming in to say, keep it light, keep it fun. Um, Aquarius is also saying, unfortunately, you were going to be the one who carries a burden this week. Hagalaz is a little bit of a frustration rune at times. It can signify things ending. So there could be some of that, but it also is bringing in this aspect of the world card, the cycle of life. And with Aquarius, you're the water bearer. You carry others' emotions, feelings, and thoughts. You don't absorb them, but you do have to carry that burden. You may have to hear other people's complaints and frustrations, but Manaz is saying you have the tools to handle that. The things that are going on in the world, you can use your mind, body, and spirit as one tool to help them maybe see what needs to be understood in the upcoming week. Um, I'm also hearing that with the Hagalaz hail, it's saying that there's going to be some things that are shifting. Um, you're going to be the catalyst for the shifts, and it's not going to be an easy shift. Again, the tools are available, you already know what they are, and you have access to all of them at all times. But with air, it's going to be a little bit interesting. This is going to challenge your intellectual side, which I have yet to meet an air sign that didn't enjoy a little uh, mental stimulation or intellectual banter. This is going to play right into that for you this coming week. So let's take a peek at our final element. Not sure what just happened with my voice there. Uh, <laughs> with water covering Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So, water fam, where are we at? We are starting with, there it is, uh, Thurisaz, which is the god of strength. Color of bright red, tarot association is the emperor, and the astrology is Mars. Here comes our contrarian energy, because this Pisces tends to be a little bit more on the feminine, or er, Pisces, water tends to be a bit more on the feminine, whereas the fire and Mars tends to be a bit more on the masculine. Uh, protection, someone providing help, good news may come. This is not, this is not a 100% positive. This is saying that you have to be the strong one this week, water. This is saying that with the color red, Mars, and the emperor, there's a lot of divine masculine energy. There is some fire energy. You're working with a divinity of strength. Think, uh, not the modern day version of Thor, but the ancient stories of Thor. Think the ancient stories of Odin, of Hephaestus, Hephaestus, of Zeus, of Hercules. This is who you are being called to step up for this coming week, is to be the person of a protector, of a defender, of the one who looks out. Uh, tapping into that a little bit more positive masculine energy with the emperor, which is the divine masculine as an entity. And Mars is saying you're going to have to step into uh, a little bit of a warlike attitude at times. Don't carry it through the week, but there's times when you may need that because things may not go so well or as smoothly as we would like. So let's take a peek at our second one. Your second rune is Wunjo, Joy, color of yellow, tarot association is strength. Astrology is Leo. We're still working with that fire energy here. Uh, it's happiness and harmony between people, a situation changing for the better. It, things may be interesting for water, again, just like with air, but you're working with contrarian energy, water. Both of these runes signify fire, <laughs> which is the polar opposite of water. And we are looking at this guy here. Um, just completely lost his name. There is, there is as. Yeah, there is as is saying you have to be the one that defends. You have to be the one that steps up to protect. The 
Wunjo one is saying you have the strength to do so and it's going to actually be something that brings joy to your soul to be the one who does this task this week they're saying that this is going to be um, could be a little bit of an intense week for water because you want to be a bit more go with the flowish and this energy this week is calling you to okay you can do that most of the time but this week you need to step up a little bit and actually set boundaries if you need to set boundaries um, be a bit more projective in your personality not always the most comfortable thing to do when you'd rather just chill and be in the background uh, but they're saying it's not going to be a bad thing it's going to be one of those things that you do because you actually feel it's necessary or you want to actually step up at this time so if it's a time to be a little bit of protective of a coworker, that's fine if it's time to step up for something in your life that you feel very strongly about this is the week to do it. It's going to have a more positive outcome. It's going to be a little uncomfortable in the actual action of doing that. Um, and this can be in a whole bunch of different ways. But pretty much what I'm hearing from my guides right now is this particular week, the 15th through the 21st of September, for all elements, is going to be a lot of union of opposites. Looking at both sides of a situation making actions based on acquired knowledge using the tools that you have already learned gained and understood through your life with that being able to step through any situation that you have successfully with possibly a little bit of a you know verbal scuffle but it's not going to end the end of the week at the end of the week it's not going to be have been about a week there might be a little bit of tension just from <laughs> trying to union being you know bring the opposites into union but it, overall it's going to be something that the elements across the board are going to be able to work with because they're all kind of open and ready for it <laughs> so um, this week could be a very powerfully magical week for everybody let me know your thoughts feelings and opinions in the comment section down below if you're new here hit that subscribe button drop a like if this is the type of video you enjoy and I will see you guys in the next video